Did you know that over 7 million people around the world are employed in the construction industry? This fact alone is mind-boggling, isn't it? It's not just a statistic. It's a testament to the massive scale and indispensable nature of this industry that holds our civilization together. These 7 million people, from different walks of life, from diverse cultures and with varying skills, are truly the backbone of our global society. The construction industry is far more than just buildings and roads. It's a crucial pillar of our social and economic infrastructure. Beyond the bricks, steel and cement, it's about creating livelihoods, empowering communities and fostering economic growth. It supports countless jobs, both directly and indirectly, and fuels the engine of global economies. From the humble abode in a small countryside village to the towering skyscrapers that punctuate our urban landscapes, it's the construction industry that turns our dreams into reality. It's this industry that takes a mere blueprint and breathes life into it, transforming it into a tangible, inhabitable space. Each and every structure is a testament to human ingenuity, a symphony of planning, design, and execution. Our world is an intricate mesh of roads, bridges, buildings, and infrastructure, all of which are birthed from the womb of the construction industry. These are not just lifeless structures, they are breathing entities that tell the story of our progress, of our relentless pursuit of better, more efficient living spaces. Now let's raise the curtain on the top 20 largest construction and engineering projects worldwide. Can you fathom the sheer scale and complexity involved in these projects? From colossal dams to sprawling airports, from cutting edge technology parks to state-of-the-art sports arenas, these projects are truly a to human ambition and capability. Their grandeur not only captivates our imagination, but also inspires us to dream bigger, to push the boundaries of possibility. Intriguing, right? Let's dive into this fascinating journey of architectural marvels. Starting our countdown at number 20, we have the Beijing Daxing International Airport. Nestled in the heart of China, this architectural marvel is a blend of engineering genius and aesthetic beauty. The sheer scale of the project is breathtaking, covering an area larger than 100 fields. An expanse that leaves one mesmerized, the airport is more than just a transportation hub. It's a testament to human ambition and the audacity to defy boundaries. With an estimated investment of around $11 billion, it's a massive undertaking that showcases China's soaring ambitions. The distinctive starfish-shaped design is not just an abstraction, but a functional design choice. Each arm serves as a separate terminal, ensuring convenience for passengers and minimizing transit times. The airport's size sets it apart from others around the world. More than a massive structure, it's an awe-inspiring marvel that leaves visitors and passengers with a sense of wonder and respect for modern engineering and construction feats. This project is a testament to the marvels of modern engineering and construction. Moving on to number 19, we find ourselves in Saudi Arabia with the Riyadh Metro Project. This project is not just an ordinary one. It's a bold and ambitious endeavor that is part of a massive infrastructure overhaul in the country aimed at improving the life of the citizens and bringing a modern solution to urban transportation. Riyadh, bustling capital of Saudi Arabia, is known for its exhilarating pace and dynamic growth. As the city expands, so does the need for an efficient and reliable public transport system. This metro project, with its vast network and intricate design, is a direct response to that growing need. It is a project of colossal proportions, as it boasts six metro lines, each meticulously planned and constructed, taking into account the city's unique urban structure and historical roots. Covering an impressive distance of approximately 110 miles, it weaves its way through the city like veins, pumping life into the heart of Riyadh. The scale of the project was not the only challenge it faced. Constructing a metro system in a city as active and lively as Riyadh was a task riddled with complexities. It had to delicately navigate through the city's bustling urban landscape, demanding a high level of precision and in-depth understanding of the city's topography. This Herculean task demanded an enormous amount of resources and manpower. Yet, undeterred by the massive challenges, the project was executed with a meticulous attention to detail and an unwavering commitment to excellence. It stands today as a testament to the sheer determination and vision of Saudi Arabia. It is not just a project. It is a symbol of progress, a beacon of transformation, 
and a testament to the country's relentless pursuit of development and modernization. It is a reflection of the country's commitment to providing its citizens with a dependable and efficient means of transport, thereby enhancing mobility and significantly reducing traffic congestion in Riyadh. Indeed, the Riyadh Metro is a shining example of Saudi Arabia's commitment to infrastructure development. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the pinnacle of all construction projects on a global scale, the ultimate testament to our boundless human capabilities is none other than the International Space Station. This gargantuan achievement in engineering and design, dwarfing all others, is a shining beacon in the annals of human accomplishment. The International Space Station, colloquially known as the ISS, represents the largest construction project ever undertaken in entirety of human history. Its creation was not brought about by one nation or one group of people, but was instead the result of the collective efforts of numerous countries and thousands of brilliant minds working together. This striking marvel floats high above our world, in the harsh and pitiless vacuum of space, where conditions are unimaginably brutal and unforgiving. The challenges encountered in its construction, such as the absence of gravity and the extreme temperatures that can only be found in the void of space, were of a magnitude that had never been faced by engineers and scientists. Yet, through the application of innovative technologies and sheer determination, these difficulties were overcome. From designing cutting-edge life-sustaining systems to engineering the complex mechanisms required to maintain the station in the harsh environment of space, the ISS stands as a testament to the leaps and bounds humanity has made when it comes to construction and engineering. The International Space Station also represents the immense strides made in the realm of international cooperation. Its existence is a living proof that when humanity comes together, casting aside differences and working toward a common goal, there is no challenge too great or task too daunting. In conclusion, the International Space Station is not just an engineering marvel, but a symbol of unity, collaboration, and the limitless potential of mankind. It truly symbolizes the pinnacle of human construction and engineering capabilities. Moving on to number 16, we have the Palm Islands of Dubai. These man-made islands, shaped like a palm tree, are a marvel of modern engineering and construction. They are an iconic symbol of the city's opulence and ambition, visible even from space. Built on the azure waters of the Persian Gulf, the Palm Islands are the largest artificial islands in the world. They were constructed using millions of tons of rock and sand, a feat that involved complex engineering and innovative solutions. One of the challenges faced during the construction was the creation of the palm tree shape. To achieve this, the engineers used GPS technology for precision and accuracy. The construction teams also had to ensure the island's stability amidst the ever-changing tides and waves of the sea, which required extensive studies and meticulous planning. The Palm Islands consist of residential, leisure, and entertainment centers transforming the city's coastline and offering luxurious living spaces. They are a testament to human ingenuity and the power of turning the impossible into reality. Indeed, the Palm Islands are not only a testament to the marvels of modern engineering and construction, but also to the audacity of human vision and the relentless pursuit of making dreams come true. Moving on to number 15, we have the Gotthard Base Tunnel in Switzerland. This marvel of engineering is the longest and deepest traffic tunnel in the world, stretching an impressive 57.1 kilometers and reaching depths of up to 2,300 meters below the Alps. The tunnel, which took 17 years and over $12 billion to construct, is an extraordinary demonstration of human ingenuity and perseverance. One of the most fascinating aspects of this project is the way it was built. Engineers used four massive tunnel boring machines, each one 400 meters long and weighing 3,000 tons, to carve out the tunnel. These machines, often referred to as moles, worked around the clock, boring through the hard rock of the Swiss Alps at a rate of about 30 meters a day. But the Gothard Base Tunnel is not just about its impressive length or the technical challenges overcome during its construction. It also plays a crucial role in European transportation, providing a high-speed rail link between northern and southern Europe that reduces travel time and improves efficiency. Indeed, the Gothard Base Tunnel is a testament to the marvels of modern engineering and construction, symbolizing human ability to overcome geographical barriers and improve connectivity. It's a true embodiment of our relentless pursuit to challenge the impossible and make it a reality. Moving on to number 14, we have the Great Man-Made River in Libya. 
This remarkable feat of engineering is the world's largest irrigation project, often described as the eighth wonder of the world. Constructed to address water scarcity, the project is a network of pipes that supplies fresh water from Libya's vast underground Nubian sandstone aquifer system to about 70% of the population. The project was conceived in the late 1960s and work began in 1983. It took nearly three decades and more than $25 billion to complete. The Great Man-Made River spans over 1,750 kilometers with more than 1,300 wells, some up to 500 meters deep, providing millions of cubic meters of water daily to the cities of Tripoli, Benghazi, Sirte, and elsewhere. What makes this project truly extraordinary is the sheer scale and ambition of it. The pipeline network is so extensive that if laid end to end, it could stretch from New York to London. It's an impressive testament to human ingenuity and resilience, addressing a vital need in an innovative and ambitious way. Indeed, the great man-made river is a testament to the marvels of modern engineering and construction, symbolizing human ability to adapt to challenging environments and make the seemingly impossible possible. Moving on to number 13, we have the Channel Tunnel. This engineering marvel connects the United Kingdom and France, running beneath the English Channel at the Strait of Dover. The Channel Tunnel, often referred to as the Channel, is the longest undersea portion of any tunnel in the world, stretching a staggering 37.9 kilometers underwater. The construction of this ambitious project began in 1988 and was completed in 1994, involving more than 13,000 workers. The tunnel consists of three parts, two running tunnels carrying trains and a smaller service tunnel that serves as an emergency escape route. The Channel Tunnel is not just a transportation link, but an incredible feat of engineering that involved the use of 11 tunnel boring machines, each as long as two football fields. The Channel Tunnel has revolutionized travel between the UK and mainland Europe, making it possible to journey from London to Paris in just over two hours. It carries an average of 20 million passengers, 1.6 million trucks, 2.6 million cars, and 50,000 coaches each year, facilitating a seamless exchange of goods, services, and people. Indeed, the Channel Tunnel is a testament to the marvels of modern engineering and construction, symbolizing human ability to overcome geographical barriers and bring nations closer together. Moving on to number 12, we have the Milau Viaduct. This architectural masterpiece is nestled in the heart of France, soaring above the clouds in the valley of the River Tarn. The Milau Viaduct, often referred to as the Giant of the Sky, is the tallest bridge in the world, with one mast reaching a staggering height of 343 meters, slightly taller than the Eiffel Tower. The construction of this ambitious project began in 2001 and was completed in just three years in 2004, involving a dedicated team of over 600 workers. This cable-stayed bridge spans 2.5 kilometers and consists of seven piers, with the longest span stretching an impressive 343 meters. The Milo Viaduct was not just a solution to the traffic congestion in the region, but an architectural marvel that redefined the landscape. The design by the French structural engineer Michel Virlogo and British architect Norman Foster elegantly combines functionality and aesthetics, creating a structure that appears to float above the clouds. Indeed, the Milau Viaduct is a testament to the marvels of modern engineering and construction, symbolizing human ability to harmonize architecture with nature while overcoming geographical barriers. It stands as a beacon of human ingenuity, embodying the audacious spirit of innovation and the tireless pursuit of advancement that we've seen in all these projects. Moving on to number 11, we have the Panama Canal, an engineering marvel that has transformed global trade and transportation. Located in the heart of Central America, the Panama Canal is a 77-kilometer man-made waterway that connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. This groundbreaking project was completed in 1914, after a decade-long construction period that involved an international workforce of over 75,000 workers. The Panama Canal is a testament to human resilience and innovation. Overcoming numerous challenges including diseases, landslides, and logistical issues, it uses a system of locks, water-filled chambers that raise and lower ships over the rugged terrain of the Isthmus of Panama. This allows vessels to bypass the treacherous Cape Horn route, 
around the southernmost tip of South America, saving significant time and resources. Interestingly, the canal is continually being upgraded to accommodate larger ships, with the latest Panamax ships being nearly three times the size of the Titanic. These upgrades ensure that the canal remains relevant and continues to play a pivotal role in global trade. Indeed, the Panama Canal is a testament to the marvels of modern engineering and construction. It stands as a symbol of human tenacity and ingenuity, demonstrating our ability to conquer nature and create pathways where none existed before. The canal not only redefined the landscape of Panama, but also reshaped the dynamics of global trade and transportation, making it a true marvel of construction and engineering. Moving on to number 10, we have the Burj Khalifa, the epitome of architectural innovation and a symbol of Dubai's ambition. Towering at an astounding 828 meters, the Burj Khalifa holds the title of the world's tallest structure and building since its completion in 2010. This monumental skyscraper is a marvel of modern engineering, with its construction involving over 12,000 workers from more than 100 countries. Built over a period of six years, the Burj Khalifa is composed of over 330,000 cubic meters of concrete, 39,000 metric tons of reinforced steel, and 142,000 square meters of glass. The sheer volume of materials used in its construction is staggering, and the building's unique design, inspired by the spider lily, a regional desert flower, is a testament to the innovative spirit of its creators. Interestingly, the Burj Khalifa's design also serves a functional purpose. Its Y-shaped plan is designed to reduce the wind forces on the building, ensuring its stability. The Burj Khalifa's record-breaking height is not its only impressive feature. It also boasts the world's highest observation deck, the world's highest nightclub, and the world's highest restaurant, truly taking luxury to new heights. Indeed, the Burj Khalifa is a testament to the marvels of modern engineering and construction. It stands as a symbol of human ambition and innovation, demonstrating our ability to push the boundaries of what is possible. The Burj Khalifa not only redefined the skyline of Dubai, but it also reshaped the standards of architecture and construction, making it a true marvel of construction and engineering. Moving on to number nine, we have the Suez Canal, a man-made marvel that has transformed global trade. This colossal project was completed in 1869, as carving a 120-mile long waterway through the desert of Egypt. The Suez Canal, connecting the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea, dramatically shortened the maritime route between Europe and Asia, eliminating the long and treacherous journey around the Cape of Good Hope. Constructed over a decade with the relentless efforts of more than 1.5 million workers, this gigantic project is a testament to human will and ingenuity. The canal comprises a series of lakes, including Lake Timsa and the Bitter Lakes, Great and Little Bitter Lake. It's not just a simple ditch, but a complex system, including passing bays, extensive supporting infrastructure, and even its own cities. Interestingly, the Suez Canal has no locks, a rarity for a man-made canal of this size. This means ships can pass through the canal without having to adjust their buoyancy. The canal's strategic importance cannot be overstated. It handles around 8% of global sea trade and significantly contributes to Egypt's economy. Indeed, the Suez Canal is a testament to the marvels of modern engineering and construction. It stands as a symbol of human ambition and innovation, demonstrating our ability to overcome geographical barriers and revolutionize global trade. The Suez Canal not only redefined maritime routes, but it also reshaped global economic dynamics, making it a true marvel of construction and engineering. Moving on to number eight, we have the Three Gorges Dam in China. This colossal hydroelectric dam is a monument to human engineering and resilience. Completed in 2006, it spans the Yangtze River in Hubei province, harnessing the power of the world's third longest river to generate electricity. The dam stretches an impressive 2.3 kilometers in length and stands 185 meters high, making it the world's largest power station in terms of installed capacity. It's more than just a dam. It's a multi-tiered system that includes a ship lift, a lock system, and an extensive reservoir. One of the dam's most notable features is its ship lift. 
a massive elevator that can lift ships of up to 3,000 tons. This engineering marvel allows for the smooth passage of ships, saving time and resources. The Three Gorges Dam is also a significant contributor to China's renewable energy efforts. With 32 main turbines, each capable of producing 700 MW, it generates an incredible amount of clean renewable energy, reducing China's reliance on fossil fuels. However, the dam is not without its controversies, from environmental impact to the displacement of local populations. But it remains an undeniable testament to human ingenuity and the power of large-scale engineering projects. Indeed, the Three Gorges Dam is a testament to the marvels of modern engineering and construction. It stands as a symbol of human ambition and innovation, demonstrating our ability to harness natural resources on an unprecedented scale. The Three Gorges Dam not only redefined China's energy landscape, but it also reshaped global renewable energy dynamics, making it a true marvel of construction and engineering. Moving on to number seven, we have the Kansai International Airport in Japan. This unique airport is a triumph of engineering and resilience, constructed on a completely man-made island in the middle of Osaka Bay. Completed in 1994, it was designed to alleviate the overcrowding at Osaka International Airport. The airport's main terminal, designed by the renowned architect Renzo Piano, is the longest airport terminal in the world, stretching an impressive 1.7 kilometers in length. The artificial island upon which the airport sits is a marvel of engineering in itself. It took three years to construct and required an astounding 21 million cubic meters of landfill. The island was built to withstand natural disasters, including typhoons and earthquakes, which are common in this part of the world. In fact, the airport remained operational during the 1995 Kobe earthquake and the 2018 Typhoon Jebi, demonstrating its robustness and resilience. One of the most innovative features of the airport is its seawall. This seawall was designed to be adjustable, allowing it to be raised or lowered depending on sea levels. This innovative feature has helped to protect the airport from flooding and is a crucial part of the airport's disaster management strategy. Indeed, the Kansai International Airport is a testament to the marvels of modern engineering and construction. It stands as a symbol of human ambition and innovation, demonstrating our ability to conquer natural boundaries and harness technology for progress. The Kansai International Airport not only reshaped the aviation landscape of Japan, but it also set a precedent for similar projects around the world, making it a true marvel of construction and engineering. Moving on to number six, we have the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge in Japan. This stunning suspension bridge, also known as the Pearl Bridge, is the longest central span of any suspension bridge in the world. Spanning an impressive 1,991 meters, it connects the city of Kobe on the Japanese mainland to Iwaya on Awaji Island over the Akashi Strait. The bridge's construction is a marvel of modern engineering. It took a decade to build, from 1988 to 1998 involving over 2 million workers. The bridge was designed to withstand winds up to 286 kilometers per hour and earthquakes up to magnitudes of 8.5 on the Richter scale. This resilience was put to the test even before the bridge's completion when the Great Hanshin earthquake struck in 1995. The bridge withstood the earthquake, demonstrating its robustness although the quake increased the bridge's planned length by almost a meter. One of the most innovative features of the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge is its lighting system. The bridge is illuminated every night with a total of 1,737 lights which change color depending on the season or special events, creating a beautiful spectacle against the night sky. Indeed, the A Akashi Kaikyo Bridge is a testament to the marvels of modern engineering and construction. It stands as an iconic symbol of human ingenuity, demonstrating our ability to overcome natural obstacles and harness technology for progress. The Akashi Kaikyo Bridge not only reshaped the transportation landscape of Japan, but it also set a new standard for suspension bridge design around the world, making it a true marvel of construction and engineering. Moving on to number five, we have the Large Hadron Collider straddling the border of Switzerland and France. This is the world's largest and most powerful particle collider and the biggest single machine in existence. Constructed by the European Organization for Nuclear Research, or CERN, it is a marvel of engineering and scientific achievement. The Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, is a 27-kilometer ring of superconducting magnets buried about 100 meters underground. It houses a number of accelerating structures to boost the energy of particles to near the speed of light. 
The construction of this colossal project took a decade from 1998 to 2008 and involved thousands of scientists and engineers from over a hundred different countries. One of the main achievements of the LHC is the discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012, a particle that gives other particles their mass, which was a landmark in the field of physics. This project also generates a massive amount of data, about one petabyte per second to be precise. That's about 20 million DVDs worth of data every second. The LHC is not just a testament to the marvels of engineering and construction, but also to international cooperation. It's a symbol of what humanity can achieve when we work together toward a common scientific goal. Indeed, the Large Hadron Collider is a beacon of human ingenuity, demonstrating our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our ability to push the boundaries of what is possible. Moving on to number four, we have the Qingdao Haiwan Bridge in China. Spanning the breathtaking expanse of Jiaozhou Bay, this colossal structure holds the title as the world's longest sea bridge. With a length of 26.4 miles, it's longer than a marathon, making it an engineering marvel that has truly pushed the boundaries of modern construction. Constructed over a span of four years from 2007 to 2011, this bridge was built to withstand the test of time. Designed to resist the impact of a magnitude 8 earthquake, typhoons, and the impact of a 300,000-ton vessel, the Qingdao Haiwan Bridge stands as a testament to China's infrastructural prowess and resilience. The bridge's construction involved the use of more than 450,000 tons of steel and 2.3 million cubic meters of concrete. Enough to fill 3,800 Olympic-sized swimming pools, this gigantic project engaged over 10,000 workers and cost a whopping $8.8 .8 billion, underlining the massive investment and manpower that went into its creation. Indeed, the Qingdao Haiwan Bridge is a testament to the marvels of modern engineering and construction. It's not just a bridge, but a symbol of human determination, resilience, and our ability to conquer seemingly insurmountable challenges. Its existence is a reminder of what we can achieve when we dare to dream big and work tirelessly to turn those dreams into reality. Moving on to number three, we have the Venice Mose Project in Italy. This ambitious venture aims to protect the iconic city of Venice from the ever-increasing threat of flooding. Mose, which stands for Modulo Sperimentale Electromeccanico, or Experimental Electromechanical Module, is a project that has been in the works for more than three decades. And it's a perfect example of how construction and engineering can be used to counteract the effects of climate change. The Mose project consists of 78 mobile barriers installed at the lagoon's three inlets. These barriers can be raised during high tides to prevent seawater from flooding the city. It's a remarkable feat of engineering that blends seamlessly with the natural environment, ensuring that the city's historic beauty remains untouched. What makes this project even more incredible is the fact that it's built on a lagoon. Constructing the barriers involved driving 20,000 steel piles into the seabed, an astonishing achievement considering the complexity of the task and the delicate ecosystem of the lagoon. Moreover, the barriers had to be designed to withstand the corrosive effects of the salty seawater, adding another layer of complexity to this ambitious project. Indeed, the Venice Mose project is a testament to the marvels of modern engineering and construction. It's not just a series of barriers, but a symbol of human ingenuity and our ability to adapt and respond to the challenges posed by climate change. Its existence is a testament to what we can achieve when we dare to innovate and work tirelessly to safeguard our heritage for future generations. Uh, moving on to number two, we have the Shanghai Tower in China. This colossal skyscraper standing at 632 meters tall is the second tallest building in the world. It's a true marvel of modern architecture and engineering, boasting a unique spiraling design that is both aesthetically pleasing and functional. The twist in the structure reduces wind loads on the building, making it more stable and safe. The Shanghai Tower is not just a skyscraper but a vertical city. It houses offices, retail spaces, a hotel, and even public parks. The building's design is also environmentally friendly with numerous features aimed at reducing its carbon footprint. It has a double skin facade which insulates the building, reducing the need for artificial heating and cooling. Moreover, the tower's construction process was a feat in itself. It involved the use of 420,000 cubic meters of concrete and 100,000 tons of steel. The core of the tower was built using a top-down method, meaning construction started from the top and worked its way down, a rare technique in skyscraper construction. Indeed, 
The Shanghai Tower is a testament to the marvels of modern engineering and construction. With its innovative design and sustainable features, it represents the future of skyscrapers and urban living. It's more than just a building. It's a symbol of human ambition and ingenuity, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in construction and design. From airports to space stations, these projects represent the phenomenal accomplishments of global construction and engineering. Today we embark on a grand tour that spans both terrestrial and celestial realms. We start with Beijing Daxing International Airport, a sprawling metropolis of its own, a testament to mankind's ability to harness technology and nature, to create structures that defy limitations and redefine possibilities. We then travel beyond the confines of our atmosphere to the International Space Station, a beacon of human ingenuity and collaboration orbiting in the celestial void. Both these destinations serve as milestones, marking the strides made in construction and engineering, demonstrating the awe-inspiring scale of human ambitions. All 20 projects that we explore today are united by this common thread, their grand scale and the audacious ambition they symbolize. Each of these marvels represents not just a colossal financial investment, but a culmination of tireless efforts made by thousands of people. Their legacy extends beyond their physical presence. They shape the urban landscapes they occupy, invigorate the economies they are a part of, and influence countless lives they makes these projects truly extraordinary goes beyond their physical components, beyond bricks, mortar, steel, or glass. They signify humanity's drive to surpass existing limits, to redefine what is achievable, and to continuously strive for progress. They represent the audacious spirit of innovation and the tireless pursuit advancement, a constant striving to push the envelope to redefine the very boundaries of what we as a species can achieve. So the next time you yourself, marveling at a skyscraper's towering presence or the vastness of an airport, take a moment to reflect on the immense power and potential of the construction industry and the countless lives dedicated to pushing the boundaries of human potential and creativity.